Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Ricardo and I'm Bujo Boosted. The month of September is somehow over and in today's video I'm going to do a quick flip through of the month of September. Usually I like to do a flip through of the month as part of my monthly setup video, but since this month I did my October plan with me on the 15th of September, I thought that I would wait a little bit so that I could show you my weekly spreads, how they worked, what I liked about the setup, what didn't work. So in the first part of this video, I'm going to go through the month of September and then I'm going to plan for my next week. This month I came up with quite a different weekly spread which I am really happy about because it really helped me stay organized and motivated, especially during this very first month of uni which was kind of stressful, I was sick. I want to thank all of you who sent a nice message uh, in my last chatty video from last week and especially for all of the nice messages that I got on Instagram because if you follow me on Instagram I share my everyday life in my Instagram stories and you people love to watch my stories and I got so many messages saying hey Ricardo I hope you'll feel better soon and actually I even got some supplements um, from a follower, I felt so overwhelmed. Um, she got a message saying, hey Ricardo, I know that you're feeling low, so I would love to uh, send you some supplements over so that you can take them and you can feel better. And my heart just couldn't take <laughs> more, like I swear. So yeah, I want to thank for all of that and also how crazy is that I'm super close to 20,000 followers. I don't know, like this month has been a roller coaster on Instagram, it's crazy and I'm super grateful about that. And of course, before we jump into today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I post videos every week about my bullet journal and to like this button and to tap the clock bell thing so that you know that I posted a video and yeah, with no further ado, let's just dive into today's video. Okay, let's start with the flip through of this first month into this new journal. The very first thing that I want to show you is something that I came up with that I'm really, really happy about. So as you guys know, I have quite a lot of things to check in my bullet journal, both in the morning, in the evening, and also some specific things that I need to check uh, on the first of each month. So what I decided to do is to have a list of all of the things that I need to check um, in the morning, evening, and on the first of each month. So I have that list here on a pad that I got in Italy this summer that I'm really, really happy about. And I used some washi tape to attach it to the journal. Now, what I love about this is that you can actually move it around. So um, if I take, for example, my current um, weekly spread, which is here, I can put this um, this way so that I know what I need to check. And I've been finding this extremely, extremely useful. So whenever I sit down in the morning, for example, I have a look at this and I check if I'm actually checking everything that I need to. I'm going to quickly flip through uh, these first pages. If you are interested about this setup, there is a video up on my channel about my new bullet journal setup where I'll show you how I drew all of this setup. I started using my Project Someday page. Pretty happy about my social media stats page as well. And it's insane. I'm getting super, super close to 20,000 followers. Like, what the heck? Same for all of my social media trackers, pretty happy about this. Now here, as you can see, I did some changes. If you watch my new bullet journal setup video, I actually had a two page spread for my social media ideal schedule. Now what I realized is that I didn't need to have a two page spread for that. So I have used the first page to do my social media ideal schedule. And I used this other page to do a September um, welcome page. Now what's funny about this page is that I actually wanted to have September right in the middle of the page but I got it completely wrong and I wasn't happy about the result at all. So what I did is that I added a small doodle here so that now it looks a little bit better 
and I've also added some washi tape here just like I did for the month of October. Actually when doing um, this washi tape thing here for October I realized that I really wanted to do it for September as well so that's why I repurposed this page. I used some white out here and you know repurposed this page into a welcome page. I was pretty happy with this setup in September. I was really able to log things in um, as they came towards the month so I was pretty satisfied with how this month log worked for me. As you can see my memories page here is not completely done Today is the 29th of September and I always um, wait till the very end of the month to add some last memories just in case something great happens on the very last day of the month and you know I don't I want to make sure that I do have enough space as of the last day of the month to write things in. Pretty happy about the mood grid as well but this month I am finally finally changing some feelings. I won't have productive and unproductive anymore because those are not really feelings and I also want to add something like stressed or uh um, so I'm thinking about the new colors. I haven't set the colors up yet for my new mood grid but that's what I'm gonna do before the 1st of October. Then my gratitude log as usual it works really well. As you can see I don't um, write things in every day I just you know fill this in um, as I go like some days I would feel more grateful so I would write something in other days I don't feel like filling this in so I'm happy about this setup I don't want to force myself into um, tracking way too many things so I really like how you know easy and how open this setup is this month I used for the first time this um, view of habit tracking really happy about it if there is one problem with this view is that I was missing the days so it was hard for me to know um, which day it was that's why I actually um, added the days in my October setup and as you can see towards the second week of the month I got extremely sick <laughs> I was very very sick so I couldn't do um, my sport I couldn't catch up on my study challenge so it was kind of a stressful month to be honest because I'm back to school and there are a lot of new things going on and I was sick so my checkup spread though has been extremely extremely useful for me. This month I've been religiously coming back to this page and it's really um, served me their purpose of realizing whether I'm doing well or not in general in my life. As you can see here the third week of the month I've been very sick almost every day all the time. I wasn't productive but I'm happy to say that I'm feeling way way better now. So as you can see this spread really mirrors what's going on in my life. Now if we keep on flipping through, I started filling in my semester dashboard. I don't have um, my schedule yet because it's still changing. This is the third week of uni and our schedule is not fixed yet so I'm waiting to have a fixed schedule uh, before actually filling this in. I've been having a couple of tests and um, there are some exams that are coming that I know of so I started using the spread and I'm really happy that it's there so that I know where to put that info to. As for my study log as you can see I've changed the setup a little bit. If you watch my university bullet journal setup video you know that I only had a one page spread here. Now what I did is that I actually added a second page and I've been tracking my homework on this part of the spread. Now since I was sick here as you can see I wasn't able to study as I wanted to so I kind of like abandoned a little bit during this week the spread and now as of the third week of September I've actually done quite a lot of work but I still need to fill this in I need to actually um, make it part of my routine so that's why I'm definitely going to add here like either in the morning or in the evening like check your study log use your study log this month I wanted to try something a little bit different in terms of weekly spreads as you can see here I tried this super super easy weekly spread in this grid uh, form 
where I have different columns and different lines according to the days. So as you can see, I have personal plus work, school, social media, and productivity. In this productivity column, what I do is that I write in all of the things that I do that make me feel productive. So it's not necessarily work related. It can be, for example, uh, cooking or even like resting if I feel that on that day I need to rest. And if I rest, I'm being productive, if that makes sense. The other columns are pretty self-explanatory. Here on Personal Plus Work, I keep track of my appointment and of like day-related information. And as usual, I'm using signifiers to categorize uh, all of the different events here. Now, the problem with this weekly spread was that it was way too small. One page is not enough. So as you'll see in a moment, I've changed this a little bit. This first week was extremely stressful, to be honest. It was the first week of school and I wasn't that organized, to be honest. So here I was doing some daily uh, pages, but really I wasn't keeping track of things. So I really needed to be more organized. This Instant That Matter page uh, is a page that I did for my Instagram presentation. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that uh, this month I had to perform a, uh, a presentation for my English class and I did one about Instagram and I actually set up an Instagram account only for my presentation and here I had a brief description of the account and of the 12 pictures that were going to be part of the presentation. In the end my teacher ended up hating my presentation and I didn't get as good as a grade as I thought I would but you know whatever. New week of September, new weekly spread. Now I was extremely happy about this setup. As you can see here this weekly spread is a two page spread and I have divided the two pages into seven parts according to the days here from Monday all the way to Sunday and then I have different columns. On this part I have personal plus work and class and as you can see here I'm using different colors according to my color code. I have set up a color code here according to all of the different classes that I have and actually to be honest it's been a bit hard <laughs> to keep track of that because I have 11 classes so 11 different colors and it's kind of crazy. On the other side I have social media, daily goals, in productivity. Now social media I keep track of everything that I need to uh, work on for both Instagram and YouTube. As you can see here for example this is for editing if I need to post a picture about a giveaway. This is for filming, this is for actually uploading a video and so on. Daily goals are goals that I set up the day before for the following day so that I make sure that when looking at them I know what I want to focus and what I want to achieve uh, during that day. And here again I'm trying to log in things that I was happy about and that made me feel productive. This productivity column I would say that it's um, for my self-care because I tend to have really high standards and to put a lot of pressure on me and sometimes I feel like I have not been productive on a certain day just because did not achieve all of the goals that I had but in fact I was productive because I did something else instead. So this is for me to say hey Ricardo okay you feel like that day was a complete failure but in fact it was not and you did get something done at the end of the day. So I like to have this daily goal versus productivity aspect in this new version of my weekly spread. Next, I have my dailies. I'm super happy to say that I'm back to um, this view with the time letters. If we focus on one day, as you can see here, the first time letter is for um, what I plan for the day and the second time letter is what, what I actually did. So I drew all of these time letters for all of the days and I set them all up before the week actually started and, and then I colored in the other columns as the week progressed. Then I'm using this part of the page to do my daily logging bullet journal style. So I can say that I've been very productive with this system. Also um, here as you can see I use yellow for my study session and what I do is that not only I have it planned I actually add a description next week uh, so that I know what I want to study during that study plan. 
really happy about this system. Next, I added something different. So on the 16th of September, I came back to my old bullet journal. As you can see here, this is my bullet journal from 2016 and I had a remembering page from that year and I loved coming back to this page and reading what I did on any given day on September 2016. So I immediately knew that I had to have this page back into my bullet journal. Now the problem with this was that I didn't have enough space so I could do it till the 26th of September and I'm currently doing this journaling in my dailies and I'll show you in a minute. New week, same layout, super happy about it and these are my actual dailies. So overall I'm pretty happy with my September setup. I'm very glad that I came up with this super super easy um, weekly spread which is very easy to draw and that's been working very well for me especially now that I'm very busy being back to school and I can tell that if it wasn't for my bullet journal I would be completely lost. Now guys it's time to plan for my next week so I'm going to put some music on and let's plan. Alright, now that I'm done setting this up, which was super fast, it took me like less than 10 minutes, I'm going to set up my daily um, spreads. Alright, now I'm done with my setup. As you probably noticed, I got this time letter wrong here for Thursday. So what I did is that I applied some washi tape to cover that mistake and in the end I decided to actually use washi tape on all of my daily spreads so that it looks all nice and consistent. <laughs> so I'm actually happy that I did that mistake so that in the end I came up with this very nice looking design. So guys, as you can see, um, my setup is super, super easy. Now, I'm not gonna start filling this in today. I'm gonna do it on Sunday because that's when I do um, my planning for the week, but I'm happy that it's all done. So the only thing that I need to do is to actually fill it in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know in a comment down below what you thought about this flip through and my new weekly spread. Did you find it useful? What I love about this setup is that it's super easy. Like literally it took me 10 minutes, but those 10 minutes are going to be so useful because I'll be able to plan ahead for my week and I love how organized it is. So yeah, super, super happy about this setup. And if you want to have more info about my October setup, I posted my October plan with me last week, so you can go check that video out as well. And guys, as usual, I hope you all have a great 
great day and I'll see you soon in my next video next week. Bye!